everyone, welcome back to Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. Today we're going to do a pattern uh, that we can wood carve of a fish. Uh, this is going to be a simple bluegill pattern. Uh, I've made this carving a bunch of times. It's really fun to carve. And they come out really neat if you airbrush them, which we might cover down the road uh, maybe this summer. We'll carve some fish and actually airbrush them. So they come out looking pretty realistic. They're, they're fun projects to do, and it's a little change from doing, you know, the wood spirits and everything. So without further ado, let's uh, get our paper and pencil out, and we'll make ourselves a fish batter in today's lesson. Okay, here we go. Hold on a sec. Let's try that again. Let's do a circle and a pupil inside like that okay <clears throat> it's got to be in the middle now I'm going to come down just like that okay then I'm going to come over and this is going to come up to about here all the way up and over like that Okay, around here we're going to put a nostril, All right. and we're going to come down, stay pretty close to there, and come over to about here. Okay, now again, this is going to be a bluegill, right? So, it'll look pretty realistic when you carve it and you paint it, but the drawing actually is going to be fairly simple, okay? Now, right behind here is where I usually start a fin, so right here, right, we're just going to draw a line like that and put it right behind that gill plate there is where we usually start it. We're going to come out, and we're just going to... Make a couple of squiggly lines like this. And attach them over there. Right, so that right there is about where we're going to have a fin. And then we'll put lines in here. The rays, as they call them. Okay. Now off of those rays, and once we have our fin here, we can start another shape, which is all I want you to make right now. Just do that. Now this line right here is going to signify where we can start his tail. Okay. And this is going to be the body. This right here is going to be the fin underneath. Alright. So bring this line down. And touch to there. Okay, now from here, right, pick this line up here, and we're going to go out, up, okay, keep going, when you get up to here, round it off a little bit, and come back down, okay, good, now, Come down a little more. When you get to here, we're going to start swooping up again. Make a hump just like that. Alright. Now we got to come all the way down again. To where we started. <coughs> which is about there. Okay. I'm going to just erase that little. Because I want them a little thicker there. Okay, we got the basic shape of the body here. Right. Now these here, down in here, these are where we're going to put our rays. Alright, so you just add a couple of lines. Try and space them out fairly even. Okay, this right here is going to be his uh, bottom fin that's underneath. Alright. Up in here, we're going to have, this right here is going to be kind of separated. Okay, 
and then we're going to put some rays. on its tail here. Now, this, like I said, this is going to be a basic drawing, but when you paint them and you carve them, and when I show you how to make these more realistic, uh, if we were doing a wood carving, there's neat ways you can do that. I'm going to erase my little guideline there. But for just drawing purposes, he's great. Just to get an idea of how to do a fish. We're going to come up here, and we're going to draw another basic shape for the top fin, which is that. And then we're going to put our rays in there. So, just draw your lines. Bring them down to the back of the fish here. See how he's starting to shape up and look like a fish? Didn't take much. He's, we're going to give him a couple little detail lines here. Right here, we're going to give him a little nostril. We're going to color this pupil in black, but we're going to leave a highlight for now. Just leave a little white spot in there. You know, a lot of times when you're doing a fish, it's the colors that really matter. You have to give him a whole other upper lip, too. Now, when we do an upper lip, it's, it's kind of tough to get it to look right for me, but I'm going to try. And just bring this down a little bit to here, okay? And then we're going to try and give him a little extra gill plate. On the inside I'm going to come. And then I'm going to attach that here. And I'm going to attach this right here. Right. Now really it's all about colors and shading and everything else. Now you can round him off. I, I like to give him a little shading. And then the, it's the colors that are going to make him pop. And we'll color him in then. Or I'll just ink him in and leave him as a, a pattern. But start darkening your lines, refining them. Because that basically is your, your basic pattern for a fish. We have all his fins on him except one. And one more and that's usually right around here. Okay. And we're just going to make like a rounded fin. And we're going to again give that some rays. Some lines. we have ourselves a fish. I'm going to darken it around his eye here now. Right. And that's all I'm going to do for that. And we have a pretty good, nice little uh, picture. Uh, the sunfish, right? And that's all there is to it. Now, once you color him in and you darken your lines and you play with it, you can make him look as real or as cartoony as you want. But, uh, the purposes of this video, it gives you an idea of how to draw a basic fish. It's really about getting the proportions right. When you draw on fish, there's not much to the shapes of them. I mean, they're all pretty basic. And then once, you know, you get what you want, you can play with your drawing by darkening it and coloring it in spots. 
I like to darken these in. And there we go. So we have uh, another drawing. That, that right there would be like a little highlight when I color them. Okay. So we have another drawing of a fish. Put a couple of scales on them. Just by making little things like that. You don't have to overdo it. Okay. Just a couple little scales to insinuate that he has them. And maybe a couple lines down here and another couple of scales. Okay. And you can dress them up however you like. But that's going to be our basic fish pattern for the day. Or our fish drawing for the day. You can use them as you like. Color them in. Make a project out of them. I made a wood carving out of them. Hope you enjoyed them. Take them, use them, and I'll show you a picture at the end of the video of what I did with them. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.